In a surprising twist, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has made a groundbreaking discovery that has left astronomers worldwide in awe. A few weeks ago, the telescope uncovered the earliest known galaxy in the universe, but now, it has detected something even more extraordinary, a supermassive black hole moving away from its galaxy at an astonishing speed of 4 million miles per hour. This latest discovery has profound implications and has sparked much speculation among scientists and space enthusiasts about its significance for our understanding of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched with the mission to explore the first stars and galaxies in the universe, and it has captured stunning images of the death of stars and galaxies from just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. We invite you to join us in exploring the latest discoveries made by this telescope, especially if you're keen on staying up to date with the latest news about the universe and its surroundings. Regarding the scientific community's current understanding of black holes, they are typically thought of as enormous entities that pull everything, including light, toward them. However, the recently observed black hole appears to be defying this norm by doing the opposite. Rather than absorbing light, it is creating new, young stars along the trail. This newly discovered trail of newborn stars stretches an incredible 200,000 light years from the black hole. Scientists are perplexed by this unusual behavior, and a team led by Yale astronomy professor Peter Banda recently published their findings in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope also confirmed these observations, suggesting that the black hole awakens new stars when it interacts with gas and cools it. What we're witnessing is the wake of the black hole, but that's not all. NASA has also made an exciting announcement regarding the galactic merger of ARP-220, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. This remarkable galactic merger is visible among other galaxies in the night sky. When two spiral galaxies merge, the phenomenon known as ARP-220 shines brightest in the infrared, making it an ideal subject for observation by the James Webb Space Telescope. Classified as an ultra-luminous infrared galaxy, ARP-220 has a luminosity equivalent to one trillion suns, compared to our Milky Way, which has a luminosity of about 10 billion suns. Located in the constellation Serpents about 250 million light-years away, ARP-220 is the brightest of the three closest galactic collisions to Earth and is catalogued as object number 220 in the Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies. Approximately 700 million years ago, two spiral galaxies collided, triggering a massive burst of star formation. This created a dense region about 5,000 light-years across, containing around 200 large star clusters. Surprisingly, this small area holds as much gas as the entire Milky Way. Previous radio telescope observations identified about 100 supernova remnants in an area less than 500 light-years wide. Hubble Space Telescope observations revealed that the two colliding galaxies are about 1,200 light-years apart, with each core containing a rotating ring of star formation emitting dazzling infrared light. The latest view from the James Webb Space Telescope shows an impressive image of this galactic merger with faint tidal tails extending from the merger's outskirts, indicating gravitational pull between the two galaxies. The reddish and orange streams represent scattered organic materials in ARP-220. Another stunning discovery confounded scientists when researchers found primordial galaxies at the edge of the universe. Initially skeptical of their authenticity, some speculated they might be nearby galaxies in disguise. They shared the data with scientists worldwide, hoping for validation. Remarkably, the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed that these ancient galaxies are real. Thanks to this revolutionary telescope, we can now observe the oldest galaxies ever seen. Astronomers estimate that light from these galaxies traveled more than 13.5 billion years to reach Earth, 
providing a glimpse into the distant past of the universe. These galaxies were discovered when the universe was only 350 million years old, shedding light on how quickly the first generations of galaxies emerged. Spectral data confirm that these galaxies are on the edge of our observation range, with some even farther than what Hubble could detect. This discovery is crucial because it validates one of the most important tasks of the James Webb Space Telescope, to study the early universe through light that has been traveling for over 13.5 billion years. The telescope's ability to measure extreme redshifts allows astronomers to peer into the infrared range and observe the earliest galaxies in the universe. The excitement surrounding this discovery is palpable, as it marks a significant milestone in both the exploration of the universe and the understanding of its evolution. This finding has greatly impacted our understanding of the universe, motivating NASA to develop even more powerful telescopes than the James Webb Space Telescope. These next-generation tools aim to help confirm whether our understanding of the Big Bang is correct. Data obtained from Webb's spectrometer and near-infrared camera revealed that four of the six primordial galaxies exhibit extreme redshifts, suggesting that Webb is observing them as they appeared 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang, without heavy elements like carbon. This is surprising since the universe is estimated to be 13.8 billion years old. The existence of these galaxies suggests that we may need to revise our understanding of the early universe. This has sparked concern in the scientific community, as these discoveries challenge the current cosmological inflation model and the Big Bang theory, which have some unresolved issues, such as contradictions with the laws of thermodynamics and unclear explanations of what caused the Big Bang. Moreover, the James Webb Space Telescope is discovering galaxies almost as old as the Big Bang itself questioning everything we thought we knew about the universe's origin. According to theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, the discovery of ancient galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope has raised questions about everything we understood about the universe's beginning. Previously, these galaxies were thought to be less developed than the Milky Way, but the new findings suggest we may be missing crucial information. The fact that the telescope has identified six galaxies that existed half a billion years after the Big Bang and are up to ten times larger than the Milky Way raises questions about the accuracy of our current theories on the creation of the universe. Cuckoo explained that it typically takes billions of years for a galaxy like the Milky Way to form, so discovering such large, young primordial galaxies is puzzling. This discovery may lead to revisions in our textbooks on the universe's origin. The findings from the James Webb Space Telescope challenge our previous understanding of the Big Bang, leaving scientists at a crossroads. Despite these challenges, NASA recently tweeted about a galaxy cluster that lies just 650 million years after the Big Bang, adding another intriguing piece to the puzzle. Astronomers have analyzed the data and concluded that this emerging cluster is expected to grow in size and evolve into something similar to the colossal coma cluster, a 1656. This area is unique and special, as it is a region of accelerating galactic evolution. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers can now measure the velocities of these seven galaxies, confidently confirming that they are bound together in a protocluster. To put this into perspective, NASA scientists compared these distant galaxies to small drops of water in separate rivers that will eventually merge into a powerful unified river. Clearly what we previously believed about the Big Bang doesn't add up as expected. However, more data from the Webb telescope may reveal evidence that could confirm or disprove the theory. Perhaps the Big Bang did occur, but the cause behind it may be a different story altogether. In any case, we will have to wait for more discoveries, but the answers may be closer than we think. What do you think about these discoveries? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section.